After a very underwhelming all-star race, we are back to the, the next point pain race all the way across the pond in Europe. We are here in Lautfit, aka the German Pocono for the next race. Newton in first, Morrison Jr. in second, Demetali in third, Davenport in fourth, and we are already almost four wide coming into turn one. This is one of those tracks where you definitely do not want to be the fastest because this track really loves to eat up tires. Noonan into the inside of Dustin Morrison Jr. Morrison Jr. is looking to be the first driver in NICS history to win three races in a row. Martin has pulled off two races before, Huckleberry's done it before this season. But the 10 can be the first to 3 Pete. David Noonan takes lap 1. Is Morrison Jr. going to make a move into the inside? Coming down, well all, coming down the first straightaway. It's still Noonan who has it. Is Morrison Jr. going to look to make a move? He is making a move on the inside. Outbreaks Noonan, and that, will that let him take the lead? Or is Noonan going to get a run on the inside? They're side by side. But Morrison Jr. looks to get the best of him, and he takes the lead. How long can he hold it on now is the question. Meanwhile, in the back of the pack in lap 2, the 74 and the 31 make contact with each other, and they... The 74 of Yankovic gets turned, the 19 of Opsal also in the damage, but he does a very good job at saving his car. The view from Levante Martin's hood, he qualified way in last, but he's probably very glad he did after seeing this. Up to lap 6 now, Dustin Morrison Jr. has led every lap. The fastest lap currently goes to the 52 of Zach Johnson, the only car who have thought to have gone on under 50 seconds so far. It's Newton looking to make a move, it's close. Is he going to pull off the bump and run here? Is he going to touch the back of the 10? He definitely could go with the bump and run here. Since this track is very low bank, you're probably going to want to be very aggressive. Newton's coming, but Morrison Jr. gets a very good run off of four and he is pulling away. We are one third of the way there, and now Demitali looks to make a move onto the five and completes it. The five was in the lead for a little bit, but now it's a very good battle for second, while Morrison Jr. comfortably takes the first spot. The last car in the top ten is the 39 of Sony Ross, and at the moment she's not very... There's not, there's not a lot of, nobody is that close in front of her and nobody is that close behind her, so she is comfortably in the 10th spot. The 4 and Falcon Star and the 54 and Meany are the closest, but she's got some work to do if she wants to catch up to the 52 of Johnson. We'd see another good battle going on here between Edgewater and Davenport. Edgewater looking to make a move onto the inside, is he going to pull it off? No, he is not. There is your all-star winner, Leonardo Pasquale, who is now riding outside of Edgewater. Noonan has worked his way closer to Morrison Jr. a little bit. We will see during this pit cycle which one of these drivers has the fastest pick through. If Noonan's can be just a little bit faster, he can pull off the pass. Assuming he doesn't pull off the pass here already. And Noonan is looking to do it. He is looking to complete that bump and run. the race and the vast majority of the drivers are now coming in for pit stops. Morrison Jr. in first, Newton in second, and Metali in third. Salter is the first car to stay out. Yankovic is a lap car, so he's not a factor. Here we go. Time for these pit crews to go into the test here to see who will be the first to come out. Here comes Morrison Jr. coming into his stall. Noonan not that far behind him, and the race is going to begin now. 
Noonan did start in the pole. That Morrison Jr. is the first one to get a tire lifted. Are they going to take all four? Are they taking just two? They are taking all four. He goes and Morrissey Jr. is the first car out of there. Noonan in second, Demitali in third, Davenport fourth. The order really does not change. And now here comes the next round. Jay Sulcer the first to come in. Can he use that speed that he got from the others not pitting as early? Well, the other cars that pitted earlier, can he use the speed gain from that to get some positions up front? Buck with Huckleberry and Roger Stevenson are in as well. Salter comes to his stall now. You can see right at the bot the top the top of your screen is where Jay Salter is. He has to beat out the rest of this crew. While the rest of the drivers, his crew has to ensure that he gets a run. And here comes the lead pack drivers. There is Dustin Morrison Jr. He has done a very good job at beating out the rest of the pack, and he is gone. Now, is Jay Salter going to beat out Noonan for second? No, but looks like Noonan's got him out there. Looks like Salter is going to find himself at around the eighth spot. But what a pit stop from Dustin Morrison Jr. He's using up all of his speed now so we can get it out of the way and increase that gap with Noonan. In the, mi in the middle of the pack, you can see that Martin turns too early. Either doesn't see Kronberg or just turns too early and overestimate it, but that causes him to get spun out by the 96. That's going to end Martin's day. He's definitely not going to get a top 10. But Kronberg is still relatively undamaged. Dustin Morrison Jr. is ahead by 2.3 seconds. He is, on the, he is just four miles away, less than four miles away from becoming the first driver in NICF history to win three straight races. Remember when, remember when we first said that Dustin Morrison Jr. seems to be eating his words because he said he was one of the favorites for the title, and yet he was at the moment, what was it, 16th? Well, it looks like at the moment, well, at least for us, he's go we're going to be getting the last laugh because what a performance he has pulled off in these last three races. He is currently 11th in points. This win will surely bring him into the top 10. With just two races left until the playoffs start. Two miles left for the Canadian. The rest of the top 10 seems to be pretty easily decided unless Ross can catch up. No, it's actually the four. We have a very good battle for that 10th spot between Dylan, between Falcon Star and Johnson, and Huckleberry's looking as well. Is Falcon Star going to get the move on Johnson? Johnson did a really good way with pulling out of there to prevent Falcon Star from getting inside. Oh, and they got very close coming out of there. Dustin Morrison Jr. is going into the last turn. He is looking to take the checker flag. But let's see who's going to get these last points here. Is Falcon Star going to make a move? Or does Johnson have a hold up? I think Johnson's got him hold up good enough. Morrison Jr. takes the second flag. Johnson will hold Falcon Star for that last spot in the top 10. Dustin Morrison Jr. becomes the first driver in NICS history to win three straight cup races.